Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I am playing with colours. I have had somebody say to me, why don't you use brown in your pores? And so um, I am going to play you with brown. There we go. See, look. There it is. So these colours are burnt umber. Um, Viridian Hue Green, Yellow Okra, and Gold, all from Reeves. Now, these three are older ones. They've been known to be a bit lumpy, but this is really just a playing with colour scenario. Hence why I have got three, you know, four old canvases. As you can see, I've just quickly coated them with white um, and let them dry just to give me a plain colour. They're the ones that kids painted for their grandparents a long time ago and mum said, don't want these anymore, you can play, paint them again. Was, okay. Um, and these little shot glasses are all, um, except for that one, all reused. But they're completely dry on the inside, have been for... A long time so this is just play so um, I am gonna start out with a bit of white in the bottom I've got my um, house paint spring from Bunnings mixed up here and um, all my paints are mixed with Floetrol and water and yes Flow troll is a New Zealand. Oops, that's way too much. That was not what I planned. Um, is available in New Zealand. It's available from most big places that sell paint. Uh, I've got it from Guthrie Baron. I've got it from Mitre Ten. I've got it from Bunnings. It is available. So just hunt it out. For me, the cheapest place I've found is Bunnings. And um, it's a huge amount cheaper than Guthrie Baron, which is again a huge amount cheaper than Mighty 10. So none of these have at this point got any. Oh, hold on. I lie. The burnt umber's got some, got some silicon in it, but I'm just going to pop a couple of drops in each of these. And um, I'm using the Durex Play Personal Lubricant. And um, you just stir them up a bit unless you want tiny little cells. So as you can see, look, there's a big chunk. Let's get rid of that right now while we see it. All right, so I'm just going to put a bit of each in each cup. But what I'm going to do is um, do them in different orders. Just a bit of each in each cup. By doing them in different order, you get a different combination. Not that you ever, 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 ever can get the same combination, same painting. Even if you, and I've done this before, pour identical amounts into the identical cups and um, do an identical method of application, you will never, ever get an identical painting. Um, if you want an example of that, check out the one that I did on just canvas sheets. They ended up looking like two faces, but they were identical materials, identical paints, identical everything. And um, completely polar opposite paintings. It was really quite fun to watch how they developed. So... Um, just a couple more drops of green because I do like the green. 
This Viridian Hue is yummy. Okay, so I'm just going to do a flip cup on each of them and see what shows up. And um, I don't have any wet paint except on this one because it wanted to be <laughs> poured all over. Um, so except for the dribbles. See, look, that one still says 2 Nana from Aiden. It's my oldest. I think when these were painted, Damien was too small to know how to write. So let's drag back and see what that one does. Like it. So I'm never been a brown person, which is probably why I don't use a lot of brown. Um, and I don't think any of the artists that I have watched do this style of painting of uh, being very into brown either because they're all very careful not to mix colours together that um, will create brown. So, let's see if I've got enough paint. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, look, we've got a... Maybe it did work. Maybe that's what I want it to be. Let's drag some of that back up onto the canvas. Because quite a bit of it got left behind. And just... Kind of meld those two bits together. Well, so far so good. I quite like that one. Now, the white has all managed to get out of this one. These will have all drained quite nicely. So, I'm seeing a bit of gold in that white, which is nice. So as you can see, although, yes, I put them in in different orders, and yes, the first one didn't have as much time to drain, they are so different. So very different. I'd love to hear from you in the comments about which one you prefer. It'd be cool to hear what styles you guys like. I'm just going to leave these to sit and let the silicon I had somebody ask on one of my paintings why don't you just leave the silicon to the paint to do its own thing before you start messing with it um well on that particular painting that this comment isn't relevant but um in this style of painting you've got to make sure you cover the whole canvas which is why we start tipping straight away. Um, the painting that she was talking about was actually one where you do the white. It was a flip and drag with a white. Um, a white, what's that thing called? Negative space, it's the one. Thank you. Um, and... I really don't have much of an answer for that, why I do that, um, other than what it looks like when I pull it out isn't what I want it to be, so I play with it until it is what I want it to be. Oh, there's a bit more gold there. I like that. I like gold LLC. Now that's a quote from a Minecraft video. I think Dan TDM's quoting there so if any of you have children 
or grandchildren that watch Minecraft videos, you may recognize. I like gold LLC. And for those of you that are not in America or know anything about American company policy, company thing, an LLC is a um, is the term that they use in America for a limited liability company. LLC, oddly enough. Right, well, other than our <laughs> Splatten rescue, these three have all come along in a very similar method. And then we've got the Splat. <laughs> Alright, so let's get the gun. Let's get the heat on it. Um, what I have seen in these paints is quite a few air bubbles, so let's get those out first. And let's see. what the silicon wants to do. Make sure we do all the ends and bits and pieces. Well, you know what? That's not three bad. It's not too bad either. <laughs> um, I'll let those develop and Get you down and show you them. Now I'm guessing that probably if I had brand new paints and I wasn't using my dad's hand-me-downs, um, they would probably look a lot less grainy. That green definitely goes very grainy, but it always has. And I actually quite like that, so that's cool. And I could almost see these for hanging um, like secured at the top and then string between that way top to bottom I quite like them I really do so I'll get you down and I'll show you what they're doing um, and show you what magic they're doing Okay, so here we are. This is the top one. I can basically fit each one in the frame, can't I? Sorry about the hammering. My husband's decided that as soon as he's on holiday, he's going to rebuild the garage, the internals of the garage. Some fun, interesting things in this one from the silicon. I like that. I like the way the green is coming through in there. And those are sorry, I'm trying to get it just and so for those of you that like brown, I would say that go ahead and use it play with it add a bit of gold and greens and basically whatever color you like in there and as you can see although I put them in different orders they were all the same paints and um, they've all come out different let me give you a real close up on this end here because it's if I can get it to there it goes see that gold thread through that I like it. I like them all actually. They all have their own personalities. And um, yeah, as I say, I think you could hang those as a foursome. So thank you so much for joining me here at Mickey Art. I look forward to hopefully meeting some of you on the Unleashing Your Creativity webinar coming up in a oh, one, two, one, two, three, four sleeps. <laughs> well, four sleeps for me. 
Um, by the time you watch this, it might be only three sleeps. But uh, check it out in the link in the description below. And if you want to come play, I'd love to meet you and facilitate any expansion of your creativity that you desire. All right, have fun. And how much more ease, joy and glory with paint can you have? Bye-bye.